Hi guys, this is Ole Exquisite Detail, hope you're all doing well. My name is Lee and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another video on the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions range where we're going to dive in a little deeper into these products and do a little bit more testing. So this video is specifically on layering these products and if you want to see a video on how to use them and in which order I did do a video on that and I'll leave it linked in the description below. So I'm going to be layering these products in a bunch of different ways and combinations while waiting the full curing time for each layer. I then will go through a few categories ranking each scenario from best to worst and at the end give you a few recommendations and tips on what I think about layering these products. So with all that guys, let's get into the video. So guys, before we start, you don't have to worry about looking for any of these products. I'll leave links in the description below where you can find all of them. Also, please do subscribe. It really does help out the channel as well as following me on my Instagram for more regular updates. So the question I'm going to answer is if layering these products does actually work and if it does, which are the best combinations and ways to layer them? And if it does actually give any significant benefit or if it's better to just use one layer at a time, letting that diminish and then reapplying. So we're going to go through the application, testing and I'll be answering these questions and more. So I'm going to walk you through how I apply these products. And guys, through the video, I'm going to be using abbreviations just to keep it a bit easier when I'm showing you text on screen. So for the ceramic spray coating, I'm going to be using SC for spray coating. And then for wet wax, I'll be using WW. For 3-in-1 detailer, I'll just be using 3D. And for polish and wax, I'll be using PW. So going into the application of them, I have nine different sections here. On the top row for the first three sections, I'm going to be applying ceramic spray coating. You can spray it on and use a microfiber cloth to apply the ceramic spray coating but I chose to use an applicator. I feel that you get a bit more uniform and even coverage. Now guys, I'm not gonna go through the entire application of applying all of these products. You can go watch my how-to video linked in the description below if you do wanna see how to use them. So like I said, the top row has just the ceramic spray coating on all three sections. The middle row, I applied the wet wax as the first layer on all three sections. On the bottom left, I had the ceramic spray coating again as the base layer. And then on the middle and the right, I applied the polish and wax. I then waited 24 hours for the products to cure as they recommend and then went on to apply my additional layers. So on the top middle, I applied a second layer of the ceramic spray coating. Remember the top left just has one layer. On the top right, I have the three in one detailer layered on top of the ceramic spray coating. And on the center left, I have one layer of the wet wax, which once again had 48 hours to cure. Moving on to the center row in the middle, I am layering the wet wax on top of the wet wax. On the center right, I have the three-in-one detailer layered on top of the wet wax. On the bottom left, I have the wet wax layered on top of the ceramic spray coating. The bottom middle just has the polish and wax, which was curing for 48 hours. And on the bottom left, I have the ceramic spray coating layered on top of the ceramic polish. At this stage, when you're seeing me apply these additional layers of protection, it's only been 24 hours. Just to give a quick overview, all the single layers have had 48 hours to cure from the time of application. And all the sections that have two layers had the first layer applied, 24 hours gone, then the second layer, and then another 24 hours gone, just to clear up any confusion. Having a quick look at the water behavior, you can see they're all doing very well. I would say only the places that have the wet wax on the top seems to want to maybe sheet water a bit more than beading. But regardless, they are all quite good. If I had to pick a winner for the beading, it would probably be the two layers of the ceramic spray coating. So now two days later, I actually went into the durability test. So guys, I'm not going to bore you with the entire durability test. I'm going to go straight into the results. For the durability test, I did about 10 hits with the APC cleaner, washing with a pH neutral shampoo every now and then. Then I bumped it up to an iron fallout removing wheel cleaner and then a degreaser. And I'll give you my final results. For 
for the okay now for the results i'm going to go through a few categories starting off with value all of these products are around 280 290 rand which is about 20 dollars in the us and the best value is going to go to the three spray forms of product of course they're going to give you more uses than the polish also the polish is there to refine your finish and the other three sprays won't also keep in mind the durability is going to differ and that's going to affect the amount you use these products next category is ease of application and by far the easiest is the wet wax you spray it onto a wet panel and then simultaneously spread it out and dry the panel Next up, it's kind of a joint second between the ceramic detailer and spray coating. Both of these are applied in a similar fashion. Of course, you can apply the ceramic spray coating with an applicator pad, but they both are relatively easy to apply. They sometimes can have high spots and you can just reapply more product or use a damp cloth to remove them. And last is of course the polish because you just need more time and effort to work it in. Next up, we have the slickness. Now I did a slickness test on application and then one after one wash. The ceramic spray coating and the polish was tied at number one, but after I did a wash, the polish actually fell to last place. I feel that the polishing oils in the polish made it have this extra slickness, but once you wash it, it goes away. So taking the initial and then the first wash slickness into consideration, these are the results. First, we have the two layers of the ceramic spray coating. Then we have the ceramic layered with the detailer, and then the wet wax layered with the detailer. The next we have a very closely match, just the ceramic spray coating on its own and then the polish layered with the ceramic spray coating on top of it. After that we have the ceramic spray coating layered with the wet wax, the single layer of wet wax and then the two layers of wet wax and then in last place the polish. Next we have how the product looked and the shine of them. So in first place we have the 3-in-1 detailer closely followed by the ceramic spray coating. Then we have the wet wax and in last the polish. Also, I only listed four because the shine is dependent on whatever is layered on top. Now, keep in mind, all of these products do make the paint look better and they all are shiny. It's just that these are the orders that I felt they fell in. What I would like to add is that the ceramic spray coating, especially when you apply two layers, did the best job at trying to mask off or eliminate some of the swirls and scratches. Okay, guys, and now finally, we have the durability. Just going to run through the order quickly. In last place, we have the wet wax followed by the two layers of wet wax. Then we have the wet wax with the detailer layered on top. Next, we have the ceramic spray coating with the wet wax layered on top. Then the ceramic spray coating with the detailer layered on top. After that, we have the polish, followed by the ceramic spray coating on its own. And then we have the polish with the ceramic spray coating layered on top of it. And then finally, in first, we have the two layers of the ceramic spray coating. So one of the interesting things that I noticed here is that the ceramic spray coating on its own did better than when you layered the wet wax or even the detailer on top of it. Now, I believe it did this because when you layer a product, they don't just sit on top of each other. They actually need to bond to each other. So there's going to be some sort of overlap between the two layers. So that's why I feel when you layer the detailer or even the wet wax on top of the ceramic spray coating, it has solvents and carriers in it, which kind of take away some of the ceramic spray coating so that the wet wax or the detailer can bond to it. And this overall is actually making it weaker than just the ceramic spray coating. So to answer the question if these products can be layered, well, the short answer is yes, but you have to do it in a specific way. So if you do want to layer, I would say only layer base protections, which I would consider to be the polish and the ceramic spray coating. Layering these products in various ways do offer some sort of benefit. So the best would be the polish with two layers of ceramic spray coating, then just the two layers of the ceramic spray coating, followed by the polish with one layer of ceramic spray coating, and then finally just the ceramic spray coating. I feel that the other two, so the wet wax and the detailer, shouldn't be layered on top immediately and that they should only be used as maintenance products. So after a month or so, after you've applied some sort of base layer of protection, you can use the detailer or the wet wax to then boost and top up the protection. So now the question comes up, why don't I just use the ceramic spray coating and then when it starts to deteriorate, I then reapply it. And yes, you can do that. Like I said, you can actually use any of these products on its own. So let's just say you have the scenario where you just have the ceramic spray coating that can last for six months. So yes, it will give you that protection for about six months, but after two or three months, it's going to start deteriorating, which means the hydrophobic properties, the shine, the gloss, the slickness is not going to be there. So even though the product is giving you some form of protection, it's not optimum. And that's where the detailer or the wet wax comes in because it's a much easier, faster way of boosting that protection to get your shine and hydrophobic properties back. So for maintenance, I would say the wet wax is definitely the easiest to apply and you get sort of a sheeting effect. Whereas a 3-in-1 detailer gives you more tighter water beads and more slickness and gloss. So these maintenance type products just come down to personal preference. And yes, let's say after two or three months, you want to just apply the ceramic spray coating instead. You can do that, but then I feel you're not getting the full use out of the product. Of course, you can use these products in whichever way you want to. I'm just trying to give you different scenarios in the different ways that they can be used. 
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it very informative. If you did, please hit like and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for more videos. Please feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any future videos you'd like to see me using these products in and I'd like to know some of your experiences with them. So with all that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.